Castle is a fully managed service um, that allows any retailer to offer a rental subscription service to their customers using their inventory. So basically, we are completely behind the scenes. Nobody knows we exist, but we are the people building the front end consumer experience. We're handling the logistics. We're handling the technology and the algorithms. Um, we just take the clothing and the consumer list from the retailer and make it all happen. So Express is the latest retailer to use your technology. And if I'm a consumer, I could rent Express's clothing from this platform, that inventory that's currently in the stores, instead of buying it. Why would Express want me to rent clothing instead of buying it? That's a great question. I think what, what we've found is that fundamentally, consumers rent very differently than they buy. So most of the things that you buy, and if you think about your own wardrobe, are going to be the basics, core, and the staples, things that you can get a lot of wear out of um, and that makes sense from a cost per wear perspective. When you rent, you tend to go more towards the fashion and the trend. And so for a company like Express or like Ann Taylor or like New York and Company, they're going to continue to sell just like they always have. What they're doing now is increasing engagement with their brand and increasing that brand loyalty through uh, renting more of the fashion pieces. And so when you, what you've seen already with Ann Taylor and New York and Company is not that it takes away from what's being bought in the store, but it actually does add incremental revenue? It's completely accretive, and I think that's one of the big things about this technology is it's not disruptive. It's not a disruptive model that's threatening their businesses. Right now, it's an opportunity for these retailers to, to jump on board um, and increase the number of new consumers they have, increase the spend that consumers have with them. It's a significantly more profitable business. And again, very high engagement rates. So let me ask you a dumb question. I have a beloved neighbor who is always spilling wine. <laughs> She's, she rents a beautiful white outfit from one of the companies, and the wine goes. <laughs> What happens? Do you I mean, break it, you buy it? Yeah, no, it? I mean, beyond sending like the Secret Service out yeah. to question her about her drinking habits. No, so basically, it's everyday clothing. I'm in so much trouble now. Yeah. <laughs> it's everyday clothing. You can't be concerned that you may snag it or tear it or spill something on it. There's going to be some damage that happens. We want the consumers and the retailers want the consumers to be very relaxed and comfortable in the clothing. So it's actually part of the service fee. There's no nickeling and diming for extra insurance. It's going to happen. Occasionally, the clothing comes back damaged. Very rarely, though. How do you get paid? Do you, are, do you, are you incentivized to make sure a customer stays within the subscription program? Does it matter to you? Absolutely. So we are, um, we get paid on a per consumer basis. So we're completely aligned with the retailer to help them grow their base, maintain their base, um, and have very happy consumers. So yesterday, Walmart just announced that they purchased Eloquy. And mm -hmm. your other business, Gwenny B, which you're the CEO and founder of, initially started as a subscription rental for plus size clothing. Now it's zero to 32. What do you make of Walmart's acquisition of Eloquy? And is that something that you want for Gwenny B? Is that something you want for Castle? Do you want to be acquired by a retailer or do you want to be able to serve lots of retailers? So we'll break out that, the, the two questions there. So as far as the Eloquy acquisition by Walmart, uh, Walmart's had this strategy with Mark Laurie and under Andy Dunn to bring in a bunch of brands and really kind of expand their consumer base. So I think as far as straight retail goes, you saw it with Bonobos and, and Eloquy and ModCloth. Um, this is just another step in that, in that path. I think it's great for the plus size consumer. I think it's great for the Eloquy customer. Uh, they're going to be able to leverage Walmart's supply chain and logistics and deliver a better experience, probably at a lower cost point. Um, when it comes to do we want to be acquired, we're building this company to take it public. Um, we don't want to be acquired by any single player, largely because we believe in fragmentation. Um, so if you believe the, inv the industry has been fragmented and will remain fragmented, if you want to impact the tremendous part of the economy, you need to be a platform underlying all of the brands and the retailers as opposed to being a singular consumer-facing brand. 